Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Razal and welcome to my Delphi Pro Gaming for Absolute Beginners in Fire Monkey course. So in this video, we are going to be looking at global and local variables. Uh, what the difference are between them and when to use which one. So let's start off, I've created a simple graphical user interface here with two buttons, an edit and a label. Let's start by giving them a name. <clears throat> so let's start by giving this button a name of btn transfer. And we give this button a name of btn um, transfer text. We can name the label lbl transferred text. And we can name the edit edt uh, input. Okay. So in the previous videos, we learned about variables and we simply used local variables and lo a local variable is when we input a variable between procedure and begin within a button or something okay so if we make a variable here for instance such as a um, variable of type s um, input and make it of type string oops okay so this is a string variable variable and the name of the variable is s input so this is a local variable and local variables can only be used within um, this procedure because this variable is local. So it can only be used locally within this button's um, on-click procedure. Okay. As you can see here. So, so that local variable can only be used within this on-click um, procedure. And if you, want a, if you want a variable to be used in all of the application, then it must, in, in all of the form, it must be a global variable. So local variables can only be used um, within, a, within a procedure or function and a global variable can be used in the entire form. So let's first start off by making, the, by making this application. First start off by saying s input and we assign the s input. Uh, we say edt um, input dot text. So basically what we want to do here is we want, simply want to edit something here like like input something and then click on a button to transfer the text to this label and then we can click this button to um, show the last transfer text okay let's start off by assigning the input equal to the variable so we also want to store the value in, in the variable and then we say lbl let's make this lbl output actually the, the name um, let's remove the text and then we change the name to lbl output so then we say lbl output dot text colon equals s input okay so we could also simply just say um, this lbl output dot text colon equals edt input dot text but for the purpose of this video we'll be using a variable okay so if we compile now and run this application then we can input something and transfer it over as you can see let's also just clear the edit input dot text dot oh it's not clear function no the colon equals nothing okay and in the order in order to show the last transfer text you can simply actually actually say show message and then here we, we want to show the lbl output dot text now this will work but let's say we, let's just say we want to use the um, variable instead we can't just simply um, ask to show the s input variable if you compile now you'll see it gets an error because s input is local variable for this procedure so it can only be used within this procedure so in order in order to use this variable here we have to make this a global variable so i have to take, take this out here and we can simply move it here so this is the global variable scope. If we add a variable here, then it, then it will be global and all procedures and functions within this form can use it. So now S input can be used here 
and here. Let's compile. Okay, let's input something such as shown result. Transfer text. Let's enter, enter something else such as my name is transfer it and let's enter, enter something else such as um, P. Okay, so if we show last transfer text, it will show the variable which is my name is because this is the last text that was transferred. P has not yet been transferred, as you can see. So yes, guys. Um, so a local variable can only be used within the thing it was declared in. So if we declare a local variable here, such as i integer, then this in the integer can only be used within this procedure. And if we declare a variable globally, then it can be used in any procedure or function in this form. So yes, guys. That's basically basically the difference between global and local variables and when to use which one. So, oops. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If this video helped you in any way, then make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, you can find my social media links here on the left side of the screen and you can go and follow me on my social media. Then, if you have any questions, then you can leave the questions down in the comments section and I will answer them if I can and if I have time or if I know how to answer them. Also, you guys can help me by answering the questions in the comments as well. And yes, guys. So once again, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.